Welcome to Daily Prayer, a ministry of the Good Shepherd Lutheran Church. I'm Pastor Bob Schaefer, and I'm so grateful you've chosen to join us today. Whether you're just starting your morning, taking a break in the midst of a busy day, or winding down in the evening, this is a moment for us to be together in God's presence. It's Tuesday, June 11th, and we're reflecting on the third Sunday after Pentecost. Let's take a moment to become more aware of God's presence. Take a deep breath and invite the Holy Spirit to fill the space around you and within you. Come, Holy Spirit. Let's pray. All-powerful God, in Jesus Christ, you turned death into life and defeat into victory. Increase our faith and trust in him that we may triumph over all evil in the strength of the same Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Today's reading is from the book of Revelation, chapter 20. Let's listen with open hearts. Now, when the thousand years are finished, Satan will be released from his prison and will go out to deceive the nations at the four corners of the earth, Gog and Magog, to bring them together for the battle. They are as numerous as the grains of sand in the sea. They went up on the broad plain of the earth and encircled the camp of the saints and the beloved city, but fire came down from heaven and devoured them completely. And the devil who deceived them was thrown into the lake of fire and sulfur, where the beast and the false prophet are too, and they will be tormented there day and night forever and ever. Then I saw a large white throne, and the one who was seated on it. The earth and the heaven fled from his presence, and no place was found for them. And I saw the dead, the great and the small, standing before the throne. Then books were opened, and another book was opened, the book of life. So the dead were judged by what was written in the books according to their deeds. The sea gave up the dead that were in it, and death and Hades gave up the dead that were in them, and each one was judged according to his deeds. Then death and Hades were thrown into the lake of fire. This is the second death, the lake of fire. If anyone's name was not found written in the book of life, that person was thrown into the lake of fire. Word of God. Word of life. Thanks be to God. Songs ring high, books are open wide, past and future collide. Dead rise from the ground, all gather around, voices echo loud in the heavens shroud. Judgment day has come, stand before the one.
Now that we've been fed with God's word, let's turn our hearts to God in prayer. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Show us your mercy, O God, and grant us your salvation. Give us the joy of your saving help again, and sustain us with your bountiful spirit. Give peace in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Keep the nations under your care, and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and sustain me with your Holy Spirit. Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come before you. Through Christ, who ever lives to make intercession for us, let us pray to the Lord. Lift up our hearts to the heavenly places and inspire us to serve you as a royal priesthood. God of grace, hear our prayer. Let all peoples acknowledge your kingdom and grant on earth the blessing of peace. God of grace, hear our prayer. Send down upon us the gift of the Spirit and renew your church with power from on high. God of grace, hear our prayer. May peace abound and righteousness flourish, that we may vanquish injustice and wrong. God of grace, hear our prayer. Help us to proclaim the good news of salvation and grant us the needful gifts of your grace. God of grace, hear our prayer. Let us commend the world for which Christ prays to the mercy and protection of God. O God, you have called your servants to ventures of which we cannot see the ending, by paths as yet untrodden, through perils unknown. Give us faith to go out with good courage, not knowing where we go, but only that your hand is leading us and your love supporting us. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. 
Thank you for joining us for daily prayer. We appreciate the chance to pray with you today. If this podcast has blessed you, please share it with others who may need a moment of prayer and encouragement. And don't forget to subscribe so you never miss an episode. To support our ministry, visit our website at goodshepherdlife.org. Remember, no matter what you may face today, God's with you and his love surrounds you. Stay well, spread kindness. I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you.